I'm Joe Newmeyer, film critic for the New York Daily News. Well, Sunday Night's Academy Awards threw a monkey wrench into James Cameron's world domination plans, because apparently size doesn't matter. Cameron's avatar lost the best picture race to its polar opposite, The Hurt Locker, directed, ironically, by Cameron's ex-wife, Catherine Bigelow. The Hurt Locker, the drama about bomb disposal experts in Iraq, came into Sunday's Academy Awards as the little picture that could, and then actually did win. The Hurt Locker emerged from the debris of last summer's blockbusters as a critical darling, and it won nearly every major critics group and guild award for best picture towards the year's end. The Academy Award now puts it down in history, not just for Bigelow, who's only the third woman to be nominated for a Best Director Oscar, but also as the first Iraq film to win the top prize. And the film also overcame some last-second dirty politicking that was going on, including a lawsuit by an American soldier who claimed that his life as a bomb disposal expert in Iraq was the basis for the Hurt Locker story. Well, at least James Cameron has all that money to make him feel better. I'm Joe Newmeyer, film critic for the New York Daily News.